Hey guys, this is Sarah with Pinoca Chrysler. Today I'm going to be taking you on a walk around on a brand new 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee Overland 4x4 in a bright white paint coat. Before I get started on my walk around, I am going to point out a few of my favorite features and then we'll keep on going. All right, so my first favorite feature about this vehicle is that it not only comes with the normal cruise control, it actually comes with the adaptive cruise control as well. So that way, if you, let's say you have your cruise control set for 100, you're going on the highway, you come up beside, behind someone who's only doing 90 or 80, the vehicle's gonna slow you down to keep a safe following distance. And then let's say they speed up, it's gonna speed you up as well without you having to touch the gas or the brakes. It's a really great feature to have for sure. My second favorite feature about this vehicle is that it does come with a navigation in it. So that way, if you are not exactly sure where you're going, you have an address that you are wanting to type in, you can type it in. It's going to take you exactly where you need to go. Or else, if you are just unsure of where you are at the moment, you can view your map and it will show you where you are. My third favorite feature about this vehicle is that it does come with heated and vented seats in the front. So you can just click the buttons and it'll turn it on for you. And then you have a heated steering wheel as well, which is really nice, especially in the winter and it's really cold outside. You could just click that on and you have a nice heated steering wheel. And then you also do have heated seats in the back as well. So that's really awesome. Great, great features. My fourth favorite feature about this vehicle is that it does come with different settings. So let's say that you are going out in the mud, you can switch that over to mud and it'll help you dry better. Switch it over to rock if you're going on rocks. You can also switch it over to sand or snow. So it's really awesome and the vehicle is just more prepared for what it's driving into. All right, and last but not least, my fifth favorite feature about this vehicle is that it does come with a backup camera. Um, they're always nice to have, especially if you are trying to back into a, a parking stall it just kind of helps you out better those lines will show you exactly where you're going um, even if you're just about to back up your kid left their bike on the driveway it's going to show you that it's just really nice to have for sure all right so now that i've pointed out a few of my favorite features we can keep going on that walk around so again it is a brand new 2016 jeep grand cherokee overland 4x4 in a bright white paint coat under the hood, it does have a 5.7 liter V8 engine with your eight speed automatic transmission. And as we're coming down the front, you do have some nice chrome detailing with a honeycomb grill and then your automatic headlights, fog lights, and then there is two tow hooks in the front as well. As we're going around this side, you're gonna be riding on 18 inch aluminum alloy wheels with Goodyear Wrangler all-terrain adventure tires with plenty of tread, obviously, because they are brand new. And then you do have your disc brakes on all fours. As we're going down this side, you do have a running board there for getting in and then coming up to the side mirror again, there's some more chrome detailing with your side signal indicating lights. All right, so if you guys just bear with me, I'm gonna grab the keys and we'll head on inside. Helping us into this 2016 Jeep Grand Cherokee, we do have our keyless entry and remote start, and then there is also the straight for you today. However, I will start it up. I'll unlock it and head on inside. All right, so coming in on the driver's door here, there is beautiful styling all throughout with some nice wood paneling inserts. We do have our power locks, power windows, and power mirrors. You also have this button here where you can press it and your side mirrors will fold in for you. So that's a really nice feature, especially if you're pulling into a wash bay or something, you're not quite sure if you're gonna fit, you can just fold those mirrors in or you're parked on a road and you just wanna keep your mirrors in. All right, so coming down, there is a compartment in the bottom for storage with a drink holder. And then you do have memory seats um, on the driver's seat here. So you have your one and two buttons to remember that you can press. And then coming over to the driver's seat, there is your uh, power seat options there. And then you do have nice leather seats all throughout with nice stitching on them. Again, the front seats are vented and heated. All right, so you guys just wanna bear with me. I'm just gonna hop inside and we'll keep looking around. Okay, so if you can see back there, there is a push button start. So I am just gonna start it up since we did the remote start you have to kind of engage it all right so if you have a look at the steering wheel here we do have all these arrows here so you can go through all your menu options up in the screen there you also have your outside temperature gauge so it is 21 degrees outside and then there is your compass as well so there is lots of settings that you can go through with those and then you do have your bluetooth phone here and then on this side again there is that cruise control and the adaptive cruise control as well 
And then if you wrap your hand around the back of the steering wheel, there is audio controls on the back so that you can control the music. And then if you can see these here, if you switch your vehicle um, out of automatic into manual drive, you can use your shifters here. So that's pretty cool. Lots of features for sure. All right, and coming into the center here, we do have our 8.4 um, LCD screen here. Um, you have your radio with your AM, your FM, your Sirius Satellite XM radio. You have all your media controls in here. And then you have your controls to control your heated, your vented, your steering wheel, and then your passenger heated and vented seats, some settings, and your mirror dimmer there. You have your U apps, which can pretty much control everything in the vehicle. And then you have your climate settings there, so you can control uh, the temperature inside, and it is the dual split, so you can adjust it differently for both sides. You have your navigation again there. You can control that, which I showed you. And then your phone, so you can pair your phone up. All right, so if we keep making our way down again, you have some more audio controls here. And then you have your climate controls again here to adjust on both sides. Keep going down, there is your uh, back parking sensors. You can turn them off. You have your eco and your sport, which you can turn on and off. And then your traction control. And then if we keep going down the center here, you do have a compartment right there that you can lift for storage. And if you go inside and see, there is an auxiliary port, a USB, SD, and then a 12 volt plug there. All right, you have some drink holders in the middle there. And then again, there is all those um, functions that you can switch to mud, rock, snow, sand. You have your four wheel drive low, all that fun stuff. All right, and then if you come here, you do have your center, center console. You can lift that up and you do have a deeper compartment down in there with a 12 volt plug. All right, and I'm just gonna make it sunny for you guys. If we come up, you can see there is a big moonroof all throughout, which is very, very nice. And it is automatic with the touch of a button up in here. So you can open that up. And then you do also have your lift gate button here. You can um, sync this to a garage door opener. And then you also have a sunglasses holder. All right, so if you guys wanna join me, we'll head on into the back seat and we'll keep looking around. All right, so coming in on the back again, there's that beautiful styling and detailing on the doors with the wood paneling inserts. You do have your um, power windows there and a compartment in the bottom for storage. Plenty of leg room in the back um, seat, lots of leg room. And then you do have compartments on the back of both seats. And then again, those, those back seats are heated. Sorry, I'll adjust that for you guys so you can see it better. But the back seats are heated. You do have two USB plugs and then a 115 volt plug there as well. Again, that nice black leather seats in the back. And then this folds down as an armrest or cup holders. All right, so now we're going to go have a look in the back cargo area. Um, if you can see down here, there is your back parking sensors there along the whole back. And then you do have a tow package as well with dual exhaust on the back. All right, so coming into the cargo area here, you can see there is that automatic lift gate there. And then you do have plenty of space in the back with a 12 volt plug. And then if we lift this up, you do have your uh, spare tire under there. And then those back seats, they do fold down flat for you so that it makes the whole back area nice and flat and open. So plenty of space. All right, so we will just keep making our way around. Again, that beautiful bright white paint coat. Up on the top there, you do have a roof rack if you are needing extra storage. And then again, that nice um, side running board. Coming in on this side, again, those beautiful leather seats. Um, I will show you that they do fold down. You just grab this lever down here, pull it forward, and they'll lay nice and flat. And then again, they do do that on the other side as well so that you have it nice and flat throughout. All right, and coming in on the passenger side here, again, you have that heated and vented leather seat with the beautiful stitching that is also um, powered as well. You have a lockable glove box here for storage and then that beautiful uh, styling, detailing, and the nice wood paneling in there as well. And then on this side, again, you have your power windows, power locks, and a compartment for storage in the bottom. All right, so if you guys are interested in taking this on a test drive or have any more questions about it, we have an excellent sales team and a great finance team waiting to help you out. And come on down to Pinoca Chrysler. We're located just on the south end of Pinoca, just off of Highway 2A. Have a wonderful day, guys.